The druggist. In cooperation with the National Association of Retail Druggists. The Cavalcade of Stars. the American drug industry spends over $1 million in research and development, and the benefits are made available to you and your physician through your friendly professional drugstore. So get to know your druggist. Trade with him. He serves your family well. And now, here he is, the star of our show, Jackie Gleason! <laughs> Nobody half as pretty as she, and sweet as me, and jumping deep as preaching, she's crazy for me. What am I, oh my, oh, the only one I've met who ever thrilled me so. She's not a glamour girl, oh, no movie star, but when she's out with me, she's Hedy Lamar, and when she, oh, 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 just wait till I get back to oh, I, oh. I want to say before we go any further, a lot of people have been claim, uh, claiming that when they get here late, they can't get a seat down front. So starting next week, we're all having all of the front seats put in the back and all the back seats put in the front. So if you get here late, you'll get a front seat even though you sit in the back. I, I, uh, please, please, I have a headache. Now, uh, I feel, oh, I have an announcement to make before we get going, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if there is a Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Brown in the audience, your babysitter just called and wants to know how you folded, triangular or square. <laughs> Thank you. We do these little services for everyone. I, whoops, there he is. There he is, Sammy Spear. He is beautiful tonight. In your little Robert Hall suit. <laughs> Taking your... Arthur Murray dancing lessons, you're lovely tonight. Are you ready, Sam? Is the camera on? Oh, ah, he is beautiful. Lovely little fella. You've heard of music that ripples, music that bubbles, his squirts. <laughs> nice guy, though. I'll tell you. He had me over to his house the other day for a little dinner, and his son came in from school, and he said to the son, he said, well, what did you learn today? The kid said, well, we studied about evolution. He says, evolution, what's that? He says, you know, the teacher told us everybody comes from monkeys. Sammy says, what? He said, the teacher told us everything. He said, maybe you come from a monkey, but not me. <laughs> but he's a nice guy. I love you, Sam, anyway. You're a good boy, Sam. <laughs> oh, you're a good one. I feel like killing myself. You got a little dance music there. Yeah. A little soft shoe style, my boy. About 300 things that time going over there. This is nothing. Look at the tumble that Churchill took. He got up and come back, you know. I, uh... you. Now, before we start our show, I would just like to say to Marilyn Taylor, who's still in the hospital, she's one of our showgirls. She's feeling much better. She's watching the show now. Of course, that'll cause a relapse. But uh, we just want to say hello to you. We got a swell show, and I think you'll like it. Sammy, a little traveling music, please. Hey, I'll have two of those, eh? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're riding.
riding high with the June salad dances, and away we go. <laughs> Pleasure to welcome back to the Cavalcade of Stars, one of the great singing personalities of our time. We know you're going to love her, her nibs, Miss Georgia Gibbs. <laughs> Rich or renowned 
Why, there is nothing I couldn't do If I had you I can't do just anything but love Baby, that's the only thing looking sweat baby little diamond bracelets full of dumb smell oh my baby you that lucky day you know darn well my baby say I can't give you oh I just can't give you I can't give you one nothing but George again. Say, friends, scheduled on our show tonight is that great man of mystery, Ramad Del Bay. However, he cannot be with us tonight, and so our star Jackie Gleason, sometimes a singer, sometimes a clown, but always a trooper, will attempt to do the act that Ramad Del Bay was supposed to perform. You know, this is the third time that Ramad Del Bay hasn't shown up. Hmm. Well, here he is, and who knows what'll happen. The great Imperial Aldini Shell Guard the Four. <laughs> Thank you. 
special treat for you. Sammy, will you play that music? Lovely, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tune that we're very proud of because it was written by one of Sammy Spears' men in the orchestra, our piano player, Bernie Morton. And what is so wonderful about this tune, besides the nostalgic quality that it contains, is the fact that it can be played in a variety of ways. And tonight, the June Taylor dancers are going to do a ballet to it, a lush waltz, a soft shoe, and a vocal. So ladies and gentlemen, it's with a great deal of pride and pleasure that we present Bernie Alton, our piano player's tune, Hanging Around With You. Wonderful thing to do Having a time the moment that I'm with you Finding a love so true Something I never knew Something I found just hanging around with you Taking a flyer around the blue Floating through space Traveling higher than heaven's door Locked in your sweet embrace Nothing but loving you Beautiful thing for two Paradise found just hanging around with you
Bernie Malton's Hanging Around. And say, if you like the music real well, there are several fine records of Hanging Around at your favorite music store, so go out and get one. You know, friends, in all the famous friendships of history, the one outstanding fact is that through thick and through thin, they remain friends to the end. And everyone agrees that the friendship between little Clem Finch and his blustery pal, Charlie Bratton, is really the end. <laughs> and here they are now in the little lunchroom where they meet every day. Art Carney as Clem and Jackie Gleason as Charlie Bratton, the loudmouth. Is the loudmouth been in yet? Not yet, Mr. Finch. Well, will you hurry up, bring me a bowl of cream of wheat with skim milk and no lumps. My stomach's been acting up again. Okay. Here's Charlie! <laughs> what a day, what a day. Beautiful. I thought it was getting kind of chilly out myself. It is that, Clem, it is that. Well, summer goes away and winter draws on. Ha, ha, ha! <laughs> uh, you know, if there's one thing I know how to do, Clem, it's handle women. Did you get a load of that Veronica? Veronica? Yeah, the new redhead that's working over in the filing department. Oh. Yesterday, I met her at the water cooler. Really? Yeah. What happened? I gave her the dimple treatment. Dimples? Oh. Sure. You know, redheads are nuts about dimples. Oh, I think. Didn't you know that? No. Sure. Hey, who do you think I ran into up in Roseland Ballroom last night? Miss Beckup herself. Laverne? Yeah. The boss's secretary? That's the one, but I takes turn. I walks in, I said, are you got a dance? She says, no. I says, well, hold my cigar, because I have. <laughs> Oh, hiya, baby. Hello, Mr. Bratton. How about you and me having a little date tonight? Uh, I'm busy tonight. Let's have a little date. We'll both be busy. <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh, you know, I wrote a little uh, song and dedicated it to you. Really? It's called Come Be My Bumblebee and We'll Have the Hives Together. <laughs> a motion they ought to bring before Congress? <laughs> hey, what's that slop you're eating? <laughs> Cream of wheat, skim milk, no lumps. Cream of wheat, skim milk with no lumps. Last time I saw anything eating that, it was a sick canary through a tube. Well, you know I have to watch what I eat, Charlie. Oh, why don't you stop that, Clem? Why don't you eat like me? I stick my fork into anything. If it don't scream, I eat it. La da 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 Baby. Yes, Mr. Bratton. Sweetheart, let me have some onion soup. And you know that wet toast that floats around on top? Put a big blob of hollandaise sauce on it. <laughs> okay. Mmm, <laughs> boy. <laughs> well, get this cleaned off here. Get the set going. What? What? I said get the set going. Well, what's with the radio? In a few moments, the first race at Jamaica is going to come flashing over this set. And I happen to know who's going to win it. I got a hot tip on a hundred to one shot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. By the way, uh, Clem, you want to make a little bet? No, thanks, Charlie. I don't gamble. You know that. You don't gamble? <laughs> you got married, didn't you? Ha! <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, 
Charlie, I'd like to stay. I can't. I don't have the time to even listen to the race. I got to get to the bank and make a deposit for the boss. There's $600 in here. Six hundred dollars. Uh, wait a minute, Clem. Sit down. Eat your cream of I... wheat. Eat it, pal. Eat it. Good for you. Put hair on your chest. That hair you got there is awful lonesome, you know, Clem. Awful lonesome. Uh, six hundred dollars, huh? Look, Clem. Let me have fifty bucks out of that six hundred. We'll bet it on the horse at two o'clock. We'll get our winnings at two thirty. We take fifty dollars out of the winnings, put it back with the six hundred. You make the deposit at three o'clock. No, Charlie. Come on, pal. Come on. You'll be rich. You'll be so rich, you'll only celebrate one holiday a year, Rockefeller's birthday. I don't want to be rich, Charlie. What do you mean you don't want to be rich? You can have all the luxuries of life. Furs, jewelry, big cars, meat. Come on. Let me have it. Fifty bucks. Boy, at a hundred to one, fifty bucks. Oh, wait. Just got enough time to get a bookmaker. Wait a minute, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. What? Is this bookmaker honest? Are you kidding? Oh. Hello, Shifty. <laughs> oh. Well, is Dead Eye there? All right, let me speak to Knifey. Hello, Knife. Charlie Bratton. Yeah. Look. Put $50. Yeah. Put it down on Bright Future. Certainly, on the nose, to win. What else? Yeah. And call me back, let me know what the prices are after we won. Yeah. Bye, pal. We're in business, pal. We're in business. They're all in the gate now for the first race. Here it goes. The flag is up, and there they go. Honeybun breaks in front. Bullet set is second. Right future third between horses. At the quarter, it's Honeybun. Right future is coming up to take second by a nose, and bullet head on the outside. End of the stretch is Bright Future in front by three lanes. Bright Future is flying. They're coming down to the wire. The winner, Starvation! <laughs> well, easy come, easy go. Charlie. That's money. Poor people do without it. Charlie, oh... Uh... What do I do? Well, I get the money. Well, if you got a rich uncle that's got one foot in the grave, trip him. <laughs> well, how about the boss? Let him take it out of your salary, five dollars a month. Oh, thank you, baby. Here you are. Oh, you're such a lamby pie. Say. <laughs> Why are you interrupting me? Uh, couldn't you maybe uh, give me the 50 bucks back and, 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 and let the book, bookmaker wait? Let the bookmaker wait? Yeah. Nighty? Besides a bookmaker, he shrinks heads for a living. <laughs> hello? Yeah, this is Charlie. Oh, hello, Knife. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, pal. Say, Clem. What? What would you say if I told you I was going to give you 50 bucks back? I'd say you were a very nice fella. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do, Clem. There you are, your 50 bucks back. Thanks, Charlie. Now, remember, we have no bet. Just forget about it. No bet. Well, what, what are you going to do about the money? Well, I'm going to get it out of my winnings. Your winnings? Yeah. Who won? Bright Future. The fella said in the radio, starvation. I know what he said on the radio, but that was my boy, Knifey. You see, starvation was disqualified. Bright future won. Well, I gotta go. Hey, what about my bet? What's the matter with you? Didn't we make it up just now that you didn't make a bet? What's the matter with you, Clem? I'm surprised at you. Do you know that gambling's a bad habit? You know what bad habits form? It denotes weak characterization. Anyway, Clem, I got another tip for tomorrow. A horse by the mattress. A oh, mattress? Yeah, the sleeper. <laughs> Someday I'm going to kill that man. Ladies and gentlemen, we've a real treat in store for you tonight. Just arrived from the West Coast for his first appearance on Cavalcade of Stars. Hollywood's favorite singing personality, Arthur Lee Simpkins. Night in 
jewel when first we met. Do you remember all of the words we spoke? Have you forgotten all the tender vows we made in the silent magical moonbeams Gone are the golden dreams we from our roses and all our tenderest vows were made but to be broken song of love song of memory and the broken man Nevermore for me will that melody fill the heart with the joys once we knew. Oh, night of dreams, night of June and love, beneath the stars and mid the roses. But fate it had done Oh, song of song Oh, night of bliss When you are my whole world Oh, Lord When you are my whole world Oh, Lord Thank you very, very much. I'd like to sing next, ladies and gentlemen, a bit of an Irish camalier. Back to Donegal, maestro. <laughs> Six years ago, this very night, I left the county court And on a boat from Miriam's Isle, so landed in New York And there wasn't a soul to meet me, a stranger on your shore But Irish luck was with me there in richest game galore And now that I'm going back again to dear old Miriam's Isle Where my friends will meet me on the pier Greet me with a smile, for there are faces I have almost forgot I've been so long away, but me mother will introduce them all in this to me she'll say Shake the hand of your uncle Mike, me boy, or the hand of your sister Kate And here's the girl you used to swing down by the garden gate Shake the hand of all of the neighbors and get the callings all For you're welcome as the flowers in May to dear old Donegal <laughs> And they will give a party when I come back. They will come from near and far. They will line the road for near a mile with Irish shot and car. The whiskey will flow like full of milk to fill our hearts with joy. And the piper will play a Yankee reel to greet the Irish boy. <laughs> Now that I'm going back again to dear old Erin's Isles, where my friends will meet me on the pier and greet me with a smile, for there are faces they have almost forgot. I've been so long away, but me mother will introduce them all as this to be so safe. Are there Kim Brannigan, Flanagan, Milligan, Gilligan, Duffy, McCuffy, Malocky, Mohan, Rafferty, Lafferty, Donnelly, Connelly, Dooley, Ohooly, Muldani, Mohan. And then I'll shake the hand of me uncle Mac and the hand of me sister Kate. I'll hug and I'll squeeze as much as I please the girl of the garden gate. And I'll shake the hand of me neighbors and the calling's one and all. And I'll pitch your tip. I'll pay the rent in the old What is expected to be one of the outstanding social events of the season is about to take place. It's the Charity Bazaar scheduled to be held at the home of the parents of that madcap society playboy, 
Reggie Van Gleason III. <laughs> now, uh, everyone who is anyone will be there. So join us now on the sumptuous lawn of the Van Gleason Country Estate. Well, Mildred, looks like our charity bazaar is going to be a grand success. Yes, and isn't it wonderful that our son Reggie has taken such an interest in this worthy cause? Oh, Reggie's been such a good boy lately. Why, last night he was in bed at nine o'clock, sleeping like a baby. With a bottle in his fist. Sedgwick, I do wish you would stop. Teasing that boy. He isn't so bad. He isn't so bad? No. Just the other night he got thrown out of the Copacabana nightclub for carrying a torch. And what is wrong with carrying a torch? This torch belonged to the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Sedgwick, I definitely think you are hard on the boy. He is not well, you know, remember? He was injured when he was Help! in the army. Help! Yes. Help! If I know Reggie, he'll be six paces after that girl. <laughs> Take my horse back to the brewery. I don't think I'll play polo today. <laughs> Very good, sir. Hello, Dad. Hello. Hello, Mother. My, but you're getting fat. <laughs> oh, Reggie, we're so pleased with you, and I'm so glad you've turned over a new leaf. I have found that there are more things that are interesting than chasing girls. Oh, and what is that? Catching them. Oh. <laughs> hey, what have we here? Kisses for sale, eh? <clears throat> you are my little dear. Get ready. <laughs> Burn to a crisp. Announcing the arrival of Miss Pamela Bumper. Ah, my God. Hello, my dear. Reginald, where did you ever learn to kiss a hand like that? I used to be a taster in a pickle factory. <laughs> now I'd like to present you to my mother and dad. Mother and dad, Miss Pamela Bumper. Bumper? Hmm. Of course, that name you know from the music world. Her father was the eminent composer of Rag Mop. <laughs> ah, my dear, are you ready for a tidbit? I am a bit hungry. Uh, what shall I have? Well, let's see. What month is this? October? That has an R in it. Would you care for a Frankfurter? <laughs> a Frankfurter? Don't I have a choice? Yes, you have your choice of taking it or leaving it. <laughs> and from your appearance, I think you've been taking them instead of leaving them. See, that is an odd stone you have on that ring. That's no stone. I had a setting made to fit around my watch. <laughs> Why don't you take a little turn around the lawn, my dear? I mm, beg your pardon, she's Mr. A good Reginald. Yes. Uh, some musicians are outside, and they said that you're expecting them. Yes, I am. Send them in. Well, there's a Mr. Covington Crove and Mr. Oliver Stain. Covington Crove and Oliver Stain. <laughs> Good evening, my boys. Good evening. <laughs> Mr. Crove, may I introduce you to Mr. Stain? Mr. Stain, Mr. Crove. How do you do? Ooh. <laughs> mind uh, looking at the music? The rest will be here any moment. 
No, I love you, Nellie, dear. You're my... Master Reginald, the next one is Mr. Brewster Bubble Bath. Brewster Bubble Bath. Oh. <laughs> Mo Brewster, it's good to see you. You are such a fine gentleman. Now, I've had... I'm very sorry, I asked we were... There. Would you mind waiting till the rest arrive? Master Reginald, the next one is Mr. Christopher Blemish. Christopher Blemish, what an artist, what an artist. Defies miracle drugs. You look like the advance man for a famine. Would you mind getting in line? Mr. Holmes, my instrument. Thank you. Would you mind holding that, please? Mr. Christopher, what do you think we ought to play for our first selection? <laughs> I got to put the because I can see it. Oh, can you see my bag? I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see Spanish number, eh? All right, shall we get going? All righty. And now for our next selection. Reference from the opera Roll for it. <laughs> oh, I'd like to belt you one. <laughs> and away. Doing. I'm with you. <laughs> and now, Mr. Covington Grove in a selection from the street opera called Mrilden by a Cosman entitled War. <laughs> Pupichero. <laughs> 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 Pupichero. 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 Why, why can't you see? I got my eyes closed. That's it. Yaramanto, Salatalla Ramanito, Salatalla Ramanda. And now, 
the Choo Choo Number. All aboard! Introducing that eminent columnist from the New York Daily Post, Earl Wilson. Oh. Jackie, as a member of the AMPS committee, I want to thank you, our national chairman, for all the nice work you've been doing and are going to continue to do for this campaign. Thank you, Earl. You know, folks, we've seen the amputees who've been literally helped uh, back on their feet by the work that's been done by this National Amputation Foundation that Jackie's helping out. And uh, these people, incidentally, uh, don't want great big uh, contributions. Of course, they're glad to get those, but uh, they can uh, have small contributions too. And if you'll just send them along to the AMPS, AMPS, Box 566, New York, they'll be glad to get them. And you'll be at the same time tripling their efforts to help those 900,000 American amputees. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Earl Wilson. Good night, Linda. Good night, Geraldine. Good night, Genevieve. Good night, everybody. Good night.